Talk about getting ready for this week. What are you looking at? I mean, this is a this is a big game, obviously, because of where the position that we're in right now, in terms of bowl eligibility, and it's you know it's Boise State. It's been one of our rivals for a lot of years now, uh, and you know they they took one from us at home last year. So this is this is a big and very important game to us, and so um, just consistently doing the things that we need to do to prepare to win, watching tape, to giving that little extra practicing just a little bit harder um, is all things that we're focusing on this week to prepare for the game. Mentally right now with some of the leaders on this team, mm-hmm. do you feel like there's any amount of just wearing down mentally on the score game, losing streak, or how do you think like just the mental side of this is going for, for everybody on the team if you had to have a gauge of where it was at? There's no mental wear down. There's, I mean, there's physical wear down, obviously. People get banged up and injured getting late in the season, but no, mentally we're here every day. Um, studying and preparing to go win football games. Uh, and so, you know, we're mentally there's no, there's no drop off. Uh, right now we're all locked in and to go and play Boise State. This is a must win game for us uh, to, uh, you know, kind of get this up and down season back on track. So. I talked to Clark and Jaren, I've talked to the coaches. Analytics mm-hmm. is huge in coaching decisions. Sure. You know, they talk about the book and trying to look at different things, you know, yeah. numbers and go by that. Do you pay much attention as a player to those types of things, like the, the numbers and what they might be looking, the coaches might be using them for as far as the analytics go? And Sure. Know. Sure. I mean, we use those a little bit because it factors into our game plan. Right. Uh, for, for us, it's more, it's not so much looking at the analytics itself, but how it's molding the game plan a little bit. So, um, if that answers your question, it's kind of it's kind of more uh, how it affects us a little bit. So you have to look at it because yeah. the scheme changes based on those analytics. And you know, when do they do this? How many times do they do this? What fronts do they run? What blitzes do they bring? All of that stuff factors in to the game plan, and so indirectly and directly it affects us. So, yeah, we look at it. It's something that, I, you know, I don't know if fans understand how much the coaches put in and, you know, yeah. they have, they have hours, staff. Hours, hours and hours. Just to try and look at those things yeah. and figure out tendencies and, and all of those stuff. And, yeah. then, and then you guys have to take what they see and then apply it from what you're saying. And so, right. to me, it's a fascinating element that maybe people outside the program don't understand in the same way you guys do. Yeah, it's a majority of our time. You can only practice physically for so long. Right. Right, or your body will just beat down a lot of it's the mental game, the mental side of the game, especially for me as a center, knowing what's going on, what fronts they're going to play, where they're going to be uh, before it ever happens. And that comes from studying the analytics, watching the tape over and over and over again so you know this defense inside and out. Well, one of those areas is fourth downs. And obviously yeah. the last game, a couple of them didn't go the mm-hmm. way. In fact, the season it's been hard with the fourth downs. Yeah. And a lot of those, A-Rod was saying, have been long, long yardage, trying to get back in the game type of situation. Mm-hmm. But Ed was talking about how that's a big deal for the entire team because the defense has to be ready to go out. Offense yeah. is trying to stay on the field. What yeah. are those moments, both good and bad? Because you've been on both sides. You've been on when you make it and when you don't make yeah. it. And they're following the book to do that. But mm-hmm. What are those moments like? Th- those are really important moments in the game. And so that's where you have to be at your very best. And unfortunately, on two of those fourth downs last week, we weren't. Um, and, uh, and they defended it well. But at the end of the day, we have to get the job done, and regardless of what's called, it's the responsibility of the players to execute it. Um, and if you don't execute it, there's no one else's shoulders that it falls on except for us as players. So, Where's the confidence at right now for this offense? We're confident. We're confident. We've, had, we've played in a lot of kind of strange games this year in terms of uh, situations we were in play calling, how things were going. I mean, I'm sure A-Rod has mentioned that to you guys. It's just been a little bit of a weird year offensively, but um, it was good to establish the run last week, get us back in the 240 range in rushing yards um, because that, as an offensive line, that's our responsibility, and so that gives us confidence to go in um, and try to establish a run against Boise, and when you can do that, it kind of opens up the passing game, um, and so we're, we're confident. We're confident right now. Coach A-Rod said that blocking against Boise is huge because of yeah. how they run their defense. Yeah. What's that like to prepare for, and, and how fun is it to prepare for that? It, it's, it's a lot of fun to prepare for because um, 
Boise State is a, it's, it's a lineup, man on man type defense, one on one. Who's going to win? You know, us or them. And so it's it's going to come down to a lot of individual blocks. Who's going to strain the hardest to win? Their individual block. Um, that's just kind of how they play defense. It's how they've played for a long time, and they've been successful at it. So it's a lot of fun to prepare for because it's a lot of, you know, who's going to win, basically. Are you going to beat your opponent or are you going to let them beat you? The game within the game. Yeah. Connor, I was here late, so maybe no the worries. Next, but as far as losing your spot in the lineup and then gaining it back, mm-hmm. what was that journey like for you, and how, how did you win it back? Well, I mean, it sucked. <laughs> but, um, you know, it was – there's nobody to blame but myself, you know what I mean? And it's kind of hard to have those moments where, you know, at the start of the year through fall camp, I was playing at a really high level and uh, against the Notre Dame game, I just didn't play well. Um, and it's not been a secret from the start of fall camp that we have eight guys really in our room who could start um, at multiple positions. And so the second you're not up to par, your spot's up for grabs. And it's been that way across the board since the start of the year. And that's what you want. Um, and, uh, you know, just focusing on doing your job, doing your 111th. And I think I got away from that a little bit and was worried about too much and other things. And it cost me my spot, obviously. But to be able to work my way back into the lineup and to be able to play well last week against ECU was really good for me because it kind of just sometimes you need those moments kind of a little, little lighter to your butt just to kind of get you going uh, a little bit. And, um I mean, I'm an idiot for putting myself in that position, but in retrospect now, it's I feel like my game's been taken to a different level because of it. And then finally, Kingsley got that holding penalty. It looked like Mm -hmm. it was behind the play. Yeah. Is that just the sort of thing where a defender can kind of trick a ref to, you know? Uh, I mean, sure, they flail and they do things, right, on defense to try to draw calls. But, I mean, when you're you're, – because a lot of times you don't – especially in, like, protection – When you have a mobile quarterback, you're not 100% sure where he is all the time. And so you're just trying to sustain your block and trying to just just play hard. And then, you know, sometimes maybe you grab a little bit too hard as they're trying to run away and they catch you for that. And so it's challenging sometimes. But, you know, I think that was as sucky as it is in the name of effort, you know, trying to sustain his block.